Welcome back to day two of the Teach and Learn Challenge for the One Person Film Crew. My name is Arthur and I am back with my hip shirt and some hip hashtags. Today I'm going to talk about stock footage. Everything about stock footage that you possibly want to learn. I'm going to try to cover it all in the next three minutes and then I'm going to follow it up with a little short film that I'm going to create only using stock footage. Again, this is a day challenge, so it's already like 7.30 p.m. So hopefully I get this all done in like the next six, seven hours so that I could get some sleep and be ready for the next day's challenge, which I think will be stop motion. All right, let's begin. Stock footage. When I think about stock footage, I usually think that it's just really expensive. Take a look. $300 for a 1080p clip on Vimeo. $425 per clip on Getty Images. I mean, for me, these prices are a bit steep, so I googled free stock videos and I filtered my search within the last year. So these are the hippest sites in 2019 for free stock footage when it comes to video. Here's my evaluation. I think that the free stock video sites don't offer a wide enough variety and the quality is slim pickings. Which means that if you're just looking for one clip, you might get lucky, but if you're looking for something that's longer term and high volume, it's gonna be really hard and really taxing. You're probably gonna waste a lot, a lot of time going through these sites. Yeah. Following that train of thought, I decided to Google stock video subscriptions. And here's what I came up with. All right, all these subscriptions are like total doo-doo garbage. -o. Like these are not subscriptions. These are just packages. There are no unlimited downloads, except for one little gem, video blocks. And for $40 a month, it seems like you get unlimited downloads and their stock library doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna try it out tonight. I'm gonna give you guys an unbiased review. I'm gonna see what the catch is. But before I go on creating a short film with just stock footage from video blocks and talking about the creative process and seeing if it is a viable resource, I want to talk a little bit about selling stock footage. If buying stock footage is super expensive, then probably selling stock footage could be super lucrative, right? So a little bit of research into this, and you know, I found that stock footage, selling stock footage is a good source of passive income, but it is not going to be your main income because most people do not make a lot of money doing this. I actually did quite a bit of research a couple months ago and I decided that Blackbox would be the best site to sell stock footage through. What Blackbox does is that it saves a lot of your time. You submit something to Blackbox and Blackbox submits it to five other main huge stock footage sites. In return, you give them 50% of your commission. So here's the math. If you sell a clip for $100, typically a stock footage site would take about 50 to 60% commission. Let's say 60%, so they take $60, that leaves you with $40. Black Box takes 15% of that $40 that you just earned, so Black Box takes $6 and you take $34. And that's what you're left with. And you also have the option of working with a curator who does all the work for you, from metadata tagging to color correcting to uploading the video. And a curator typically charges 40%, which means that you're left with about 20 bucks, 20 bucks to the 100. Now that could be pretty cool if you have a boatload of footage from around the world and you're just sitting on terabytes of footage that's not going to see the light of day. It's time for me to create a little short film with video blocks and for me to talk about my creative process and for you to see for yourself if video blocks and stock footage is something that you want to use as a consumer. Alright, good morning. I'm going to try to finish this video before noon so I can start the next video for today. Before I show you the video, I want to share a little bit of a backstory. I was reading Dharma Bums before I went to sleep, and recently I've been on a Jack Kerouac binge, and it reminded me to share with you guys one of my favorite quotes from him from the book On the Road. So, here you go. Enjoy. But then they danced down the street like a dingle dodies, and I shambled after, as I've been doing all my life, after people who interest me because the only people for me are the mad ones, the ones who are mad to live, mad to talk, mad to be saved, desirous of everything at the same time, the ones who never yawn or say a commonplace thing, but burn, burn, burn like fabulous yellow Roman candles, exploding like spiders across the stars. And in the middle you see the blue center light pop, and everybody goes, Alright, hope 
you guys enjoyed the video. I honestly had a really good time editing this video. I mean, I did not expect there was that much stock footage. I think it came out really well. Granted, there are some limitations, like in my video, I talk a lot about interesting or eccentric people. This is what happens when you search interesting man. Apparently, interesting men do nothing but read. Or reading just makes you a really interesting person. <laughs> um, yeah, like, if you're gonna make a video about a generic white man, then stock footage is perfect for you. But when it comes to, like, something more abstract and alternative, it can be a little bit difficult, such as this video. However, overall, I mean, I'm really pe pleased with the footage. I mean, you notice that one girl standing there, she looked exactly like that clip in Vimeo that was being sold for $300. So overall, like for $40 a month unlimited downloads, this is a great deal. There's a huge 4K selection and there's also alpha channels, which is really cool. They're basically overlays. And honestly, I'd really recommend it if you have $40 to spare. I know that's a lot of money, but hey, get your client to pay for it. All right, that concludes day two of the 30 day challenge where I learn something new, create something and give a tutorial about it each day. I mentioned I was gonna do stop motion today, but that's gonna be a huge task just like uh, stock footage. So today I'm gonna do something a little bit more simpler. I'm gonna give a tutorial on how to do a Google Earth, a drone to gimbal, to phone, to eye, to alternate world transition. It's a lot easier than it sounds, and I'll see you tomorrow. Please subscribe, like, comment, and let me know if you guys have anything you want to learn, and I'll try to make a tutorial on it the day afterwards.